everyone, let's go over in this video using TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim kind of from square one uh, when you're just uh, populating the platform on your computer here. So what I always do, uh, just personally, I like to get rid of a lot of this uh, clutter to the left. So if you click on this little arrow here, it pops out. And really the only thing I want uh, you can see here, like it gives you, you know, you get Trader TV, News Flash, all that stuff. So, like for example, I don't really want to watch the, you know, CNBC if I, you know, I can if I want, or the TD Network. Um, what you can do to add, you click this plus button where it says Add Gadget, and then to get rid of them, what you can do is you can actually uh, detach it if you want to populate it somewhere else or on another screen or you can just simply go to delete gadget. So that's all I want. Uh, now you'll notice that I have a watch list up here um, and you can use some of the public ones out there um, that are available or you can make your own and then name it whatever you want. So like here I'll go to my cannabis watch list and then let's say I want to add a name to it. Um, let's say I want to add just you know, we'll do uh, a name I can add it and I can edit or if I want to populate it uh, or pardon me detach it and put it somewhere else then I can go and put it somewhere else on my screen if you click this always on top button it will stay always on top or you can get rid of it and then what you can do is you can go and um, click on this little gear icon and you could customize it I know sometimes it comes with like a default like for example uh, it comes with all this stuff. I don't like it. Just too much clutter. So I'll go to customize and then I'll just remove the bid ask. <coughs> Pardon me. Then you could also go to net change. If you double click it, you can get the net change by a dollar amount if you like. And then uh, what I want to do now is go to my chart. So you'll see T TD Ameritrade has usually a chart populated. Um, what you can do is you can add another chart and it will see you know something blank so let's say I do uh, uh, let's say, uh, Apple will use and you may, it might show this this is active trader uh, what I would want to do is go to actually chart there we go and I could click on active trader I could remove it um, if I want to add, let's say, a time in sales, I go to time in sales and add it. If I want to do active trader here, I could go to active trader here for orders. Um, let's say I don't, let's say I want to look at this chart here on Apple, not the QQQ. I can actually right click and go to maximize. And then what I can do is change. I could zoom out. And let's say I don't want the pre market. Um, I can just go to my gear icon up here and I can overlap volume. I can do a price access. I could do a time access if I want to expand some bars to the right. So I'll do five just so I have a little cushion here. Uh, there we go. See how this expanded. I could go to uh, extended hours and I want to actually turn them off. There we go. Appearance, I could change the colors, I could do candles, I could do bars if I want. All right, now I have a bar chart. Really, this is just completely up to you. And then you could go to your time periods, so I could go to the daily, the hourly, the five minute. So you have uh, customize however you like. You know, you can actually pick your time frame as well. Favorites are pretty standard up here, you don't have to do much with them. Um, and then let's say I actually want to make more charts. Um, Let's say I want to add, let's say, I don't know, Halibut and some other names. So what I can do is actually go to detach. And now you see how I have one big chart. Let's say I want to do four charts. So I can click up here and see and there's two, there's three, there's four. So now I can do four charts. So let's say I want uh, Halibut up here. You know, I do the same thing. I go to my, uh, it gives me my uh, uh, time and sales. I don't want that. I want a chart. There we go. We'll put a chart up here now that I want a chart. 
I could get rid of this. And I can expand my chart if I want. Get rid of Active Trader. There we go. And now I got my chart. And let's say I want, I want to look at Halliburton, the oil name. I don't know why, but I just picked this one. <laughs> so let's go to, uh, I can right click to always customize what I like. Or again, let's say I want uh, a chart. I could go to AT plus charts. That's Active Trader plus charts. I can expand it. Then I could get rid of Active Trader if I want. If I want to put big buttons for buy and sell, I can. This is just completely customized to you. There, Halliburton. Then what I can do, so let's say I like my layout right now, okay? I can go here on this three uh, line icon and um, you see how it says load cells, you can actually load your watch list. But let's say I want to keep it this way. Uh, what I can do is save grid as. So I'll click on my little four icon, save grid as, and I'll name it uh, four chart. I'll name it four charts. Uh, and then I'll do QQQ, Apple, ES, and Halliburton. And then I'll save it. So now let's say I close my machine or I... Uh, Oh, I, I, I accidentally exit out or something, or I change the ticker symbols. Now I can go and I see it. Lance, four charts, QQQ, Apple, ES. So we'll upload. Pretty cool, right? So let's say, for example, I uh, then it will, then it will ask me, you, are you sure you want to load it? I click OK. So there it goes. And now it loads all over again. So now I save it. Now here's the one thing um, most people have questions on. So let's say I close it. Now let's say I like my layout, I fix it however I like. How do you make sure it populates again so you don't have to go through the complete process again? Really simple. Go to Setup and click on Save Workspace. And then you can name it however you want. So you can do uh, My Trade Setup. And then save it, and then every time you want you open up your platform, it will be saved. You can see how many workspaces I have. I like I like saving a ton of them. Um, but that way, you could just go find your workspace, and it will populate every time how you like. One other thing before we wrap up is you can go to Setup Application Settings, and you can actually get notifications to your phone number, an email address. Um, when an alert or when an order is filled or when someone logs in or an announcement, you can enable notifications if you'd like. So that's a pretty cool setup Thinkorswim has on their platform. Then um, you'll see the monitor tab for your positions, the trade tab where you'll go to all products to pull up an options chain. So that's cool. It will give you the market makers move uh, for the week. And then at the bottom, it actually gives you option time and sales, uh, which I like looking at every now and then. And then option stats. It's a pretty cool little feature there. You know, this is just more of a of your liking to some of the features. If you trade Forex futures, there's tabs. I like the Active Trader tab. It's just mostly what I use. You could go to Analyze if you put in a trade. Actually, so like, let's say I go to Apple and I want to look at January, uh, let's say, uh, call spreads, I can actually right click and analyze my trade and then go to risk profile. And here it is. Pretty cool. Um, if I want to look at a fundamentals of a company, let's say I want to look at uh, fundamentals of Tiffany's, it will actually pull it up and I see Tiffany, uh, you know, consumer discretionary retail name. Uh, and it'll actually give me a preview. It'll actually give me the uh, year over year sales and uh, earnings per share, everything like that. So if I like doing fundamental research, um, it actually has an earnings tab as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, if I want to look at prior earnings and then a scanner, if I want to scan stocks, this gets a little uh, advanced market watch. This is basically your watch list and then charts. Uh, I usually do not click on tools, education, or help because it populates more windows and it just becomes more of a mess. But uh, basics on TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here 
to help get familiar with the platform. I get it. It can be very overwhelming at first. Um, it, it's a ton of data, a lot of information. But as you play around with it, uh, and you can also, when you log in, go to a demo account, the Play Money account, if you want to play around with it. Just get familiar with it, and then um, go from there, build comfort. But a lot of the features, again, you don't need to use. It's just uh, a lot of different features that are available uh, if, uh, if you'd like. Thanks, everyone.